Fabian, we're doing it again. We're back. We're back, baby. Oh, gosh. Yes, yes. We're back. I mean, and you know why we're back? We're back because people are asking for more. I think yeah. I think that the dynamic, the fact that we're two people, um, you know, giving our point of view on stuff, and we relate on so many things, but also I think we complete each other on so many things also. And so... When people are watching, listening, or consuming our content, well, they have two people's views, two brains. I know it was so cool last time. You complete me. It was so cool last time when we did the workshop, where it was like it was interesting to see how, like, how we both come at the same content in different ways, and and how it engaged people on different levels, right? So some people yeah. like really got like the story side, or 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 like or your like succinct like rephrasing of like okay it's this you know and they love that like it was really cool to watch how because i've never interacted like i've never co-facilitated before so like this is heavenly for me and we have it coming up again april 3rd right yes yes it's coming april 3rd at noon eastern time again so the point is that it's 12 eastern time let's just have that be your base and whatever yeah. you however you adjust the 12 eastern time 12 eastern time, april 3rd yes calculate it and Fabienne, yes, you know, the year's not over. It's been going by fast, but it's not over. So if people are still interested in getting up and speaking on more stages with really awesome dynamic keynotes, we're going to cover all of that. We're yes. going to cover how to use storytelling, how to really like focus on what your message is and what your deliverable is. And, and you do such an awesome job of being like, of like putting it together and being like, okay, well, how does this affect, how does this impact people? Like, what do they walk away with? Because that's always a huge question, right? Is how do I create the impact and really show my expertise in this thing? Yeah, definitely. And what I like to say is that, you know, there's a difference between, and we'll always say that, there's a difference between speaking to speak and just to deliver your message, but speaking to create an impact and to influence people and to prompt them to do something that they wouldn't do if they haven't heard you speak. So it's about like what do you create that is different in their lives and how they're going to change it because they heard you speak, right? And that is the the big difference between if people are going to ask more of you or people are going to look for you and be like, let me invite you on that podcast. Let me feature you on my magazine. Uh, let me invite you in front of my people, like in front of my mastermind. So that's the huge difference. If you just focus on speaking because you like the attention, because you crafted something kind of automatically without any depth in it or without any meaningful message, then don't be surprised if you're done and then that's it and nothing happens out of it. So that's really what we're teaching in that workshop. Like how do you distinguish yourself and how do you stand out? Compared to all these people who just speak to speak, but not speak to impact. Oh my God, yes. That, that's so good. I, <laughs> I'm not just saying, I'm like, whoa, like saying something so that like someone can make a change that they wouldn't otherwise without like, so, like hitting people in a way or impacting people in a way that had you not been up there today saying the thing, they might've heard it 10 times before, but like you saying it in your way in your style and with your heart and 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 kind of sending it out in a way that's authentic and organic and conversational versus like what we, we talk about a real speaker like a real speaker versus like a canned speaker like or like a mm -hmm. fake speaker right and and so many times we see these overly rehearsed um these diatribes these these sages from the stage that are just coming up and they're like so I wrote this and, and practiced it the exact same way 30,000 times. And I'm going to deliver it the same no matter what happens in the audience. That doesn't engage us. That's not interesting, right? So it's just like you said. The, the, remember, the root of this thing is how do you help someone shift their perspective or change their lives even, you know? And if yeah. you can be the person that says it today to them and impact them and help them go, you know what? I'm going to take those suggestions Um like I love, like I just watched your your speaker reel, and I'm like, oh yeah, like I got so much out of it, just like the things you said, and it was like it was like it's not about motivation, it's about creating clear goals. And I was like, you know what, you're right. Like I I'm often like I get motivated, and it's so it's like it's like words really matter, really impact us. So I just love that you said that this idea that like if you don't say it, 
today, then they might not hear it the way they need to hear it and be able to, to, to make a better world for themselves. Exactly.